everyone, this is Hava. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a winter favorites video. I know my October and November favorites have not been around. Um, I would actually made both those videos and I really didn't like him, either of them, so I, I scrapped them. That's what I do quite often. So I apologize. And about being MIA, um, I've sort of been a little bit depressed. Like, uh, my mental state wasn't, um, you know, that great. There has recently been a presidential election in Korea, and um, let's just say my vote didn't win. So, and you know, this year's election was quite a big deal to me. I had a lot of faith in the candidate that I voted for. And I had a lot of concerns about the current elected candidate. So I don't know. I just hope she will be opposite of what I worry about and will do some good at least. I didn't roll my eyes. But anyway, um, I don't want to go like political or any, you know, I don't want to go that way, but I just. You know, that's just my excuse for being MIA. I'm really sorry. But here is my winter favorites. Before we begin with all these products, what is my concern when it comes to winter is the dryness. And I have I have a really strange skin. In summer, I have oily skin, but it's it lacks of oil. It's it's dry, but it's oily. So I have enough hydration, but it's the oil that I should worry about and that's why I used to use the Belief Moisturizing Balm because it has a little bit of that oiliness that I needed. But in winter, I lack both of them. So I, I lack hydration because the wind is slapping me. The wind is slapping my face all the time. Kim go bong, kumane! Kumane! And, um, sorry, my cat is trying to jump onto my tent. And I've always been lacking oil. So, winter is a huge struggle for me. And it did take me a good month to get used to it. I've been building up my skincare so that, um, you know, I can, you know, overcome this issue of constant dryness. So I'm going to start with my serum, which I think I can just be quick about because I have already talked about this in my haul and that is my Ohi Hydra Formula Treatment Ampoule 777. I have already shown you guys in my birthday haul and really it is so great and I am going to upload a comparison video of this treatment, 777 treatment from Ohi and this Espa Boosting Essence. Both are great but I use them for a totally different purpose. Now that's it for this thing. I really do feel, you know, the hydration going in and I can layer this at least like three good layers. Um, but it's so costly, you know, I just wish it wasn't so expensive. Uh, now I'm moving on to a lip balm. I adore this lip balm, but I had lost it last year or the year before and I didn't feel like I needed it in summer because my lips weren't chipping that bad and in October, like when it start, started getting dry, I was like, I need Uriage. So I bought this. This is Uriage Stick Lèvres. This is the original one. Uh, I think there is like a scentless one or something. It's a totally see-through lip balm and super um, moisturizing. I love this product. I also love how they made the um, the tube a little bit slanted so I can use it in a you know the way it's supposed to. Okay, so and I got this at Olive Young just in case you guys are wondering. And the next product, I love this toner. When Amore Pacific or Lyricos, um, which is part of Amore Pacific, launched this line, this Lyricos Marine Plus line, I was like, I'm gonna try that. And they actually um, distrib distributed a trial kit, and I tried the toner, and I loved it so much. So moisturizing. Oh, I shook it. 
But as you can see, there is this like thin layer of oil, like sea oil, marine oil, whatever. And there is like a really, really thin layer on top that you cannot really see. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um, so it comes with a layer of essential oil, something on top, and the toner, and you shake it. And if you have a slightly oily skin, you can um, wet a cotton pad and just wipe your face and then just finish off with dabbing it. But I just go straight onto my face with this. Super moisturizing. I love it. It makes a huge difference. But I guess like every step in my current skincare counts. But I am totally going to uh, purchase this again. And the price, considering the Lyricos products are usually really expensive, this one was it was pretty okay. I think it was 18,000 won. But I'm not sure. I will put the price down below. This you can only get um, online on their Marine Plus site. So just in case you're wondering, only online. So yeah. But I really do recommend this product. The, the cream, the deep cream that comes with is also great. I was actually wondering whether I should buy the one or not because I just loved the sample. But I'm just going to give it a little more time because I have, I think I've found my holy grail moist moisturizer which is coming next. Alright, the next product, before I go on with my moisturizer, I'm just going to briefly mention my booster essence. This is called the Espa Hydro Magic Boosting Essence. This is not that cheap either but co like compared to this it is inexpensive this was about 35,000 won but I must say it is totally worth the money to use on its own you can you can of course go ahead and do it but I feel that it gets a little bit sticky so unless I am super super dehydrated I don't really use it on its own but I, I rather use it to mix it with other product to make it a little bit more moisturizing or in this case to thin a product which is too creamy or too thick. So speaking of, I'm going to introduce you to my Ingram's The Skin Doctor. Before you guys ask me anything, I did not get this in Korea. I have not seen anything like this in Korea. This is actually made of camphor and I bought this in South Africa and it's really cheap there in South, South Africa. And this is what it looks like. I know it looks horrendous. And this is super moisturizing, but I used to use it for my heels. But um, I use it for my face. But before you guys freak out, I make sure that I only dip clean fingers in the tub. And I have not a single day, um, you know, dipped a dirty hand um, that I have, you know, massaged my heel with or anything. So it is clean. Even if it's not, it's my own skin, so yeah. Anyway, um, I used this since yesterday. And right now, if you guys follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, I'm working part-time at Tony Molly. And I'm telling you, it is super dry because they have heater on. Two giant heaters on the ceiling. No doors are open. Even if the doors are open, it's super dry with those terrible wind. It is... It just strips every single drop of H2O from your face. Like, I swear to you, you will just like feel your face crack of dryness, like a drought. And I put this on yesterday and today, no more. As you can see, it's not dry. But believe me, if I were to skip this step and make this video, I would have looked terrible. Like seriously, the, the first few days I was working there, my skin was starting to break out. I actually have like a spot here because it was like breaking out. And you know, it was just so terrible. I was, I was just about to cry my eyeballs out. But, and let me just show you. I mean, even if it doesn't look that thick, I don't, I don't know. I didn't feel safe to use it or like thin enough to use it on my face so I just mixed with this. I don't I didn't really care about like the ratio as long as it's thin enough to put on my face. And it's been working magic. I think that's it for my winter essentials um, for my skincare. 
and for my like other like lifestyle sort of things I have a huge humidifier down below but I'm not ready to show it to you guys because my floor is a little dirty and then I have this little tent so this is my tent I'm sorry about those hanging towels um, actually what I do is when I'm done showering or washing my hair those towels are basically like soaked wet so I hang them over there so that I can use them as sort of like a humidifier for the night and that is my u-shaped pillow which is for some nights it's really comfortable for some nights it's not really and this microfiber is a microfiber blanket is heaven now I have this stuck down duvet which is like years old and my mom actually sent me this new one when I was in my old one room apartment and somebody stole it. I hung it outside because my room was so small and somebody stole it so since then what I have is a self tumble dryer washing machine so that I don't have to hang my um, washings that is just out of the story so this duck down um, duvet is an old one because my mom's new one got stolen so it's really thin so it barely does any heating so for me this duvet is like heaven to me and obviously my duvet is peeling at the back but yeah it's really nice um I, ca I can't really do it all the time but when my cats are all inside and you know for about a couple hours I really want to feel warm I can close up the tent like so and then inside it's super warm and even when I have a radiator um, or a heater facing in the tent it's much warmer because it keeps the heat inside so yeah best stuff I ever purchased this winter say hi man say hi hi alright it's not ready for dryness but it really keeps me warm I love this before I move on like since I said that I I'm working at Tony Molly. I think I'm probably going to get like questions like any recommendations from Tony Molly. Um, I will try and work on it. To be honest, I haven't found that many. I don't know, but um, even if I mention anything, like you know, like hits and misses, I will make sure to do it after I put there because I don't want to talk about the brand good or bad when I'm working for them if you know what I mean it's a little bit sensitive so besides that I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye thanks for watching oh and happy new year